McLallan County PUD has begun construction to rebuild a section of transmission line from Airport Road to Cherry Street in Port Angeles. Rebuilding the line from 69 kV to 115 kV and replacing 27 utility structures, years of planning, design, and engineering have gone into the design of this new power line. Replacing old wood poles, the new poles will be of fiberglass construction. The first structures to be replaced in this project are two H structures which are holding up over 4,000 pounds of new conductor through a 783 foot span over the Tumwater Valley. With a life expectancy of 100 years, the line is built to withstand the most rigorous weather conditions it may see during its lifetime. Holding up City of Port Angeles power lines, in addition to PUD power lines, this structure is particularly challenging. Line trucks and other heavy equipment are brought in and staged, ready to go to work. At an average height of 70 feet, it takes a lot of truck to be able to install such tall poles and also have the right equipment to pull in the new conductors. Being of a modular design, the fiberglass poles must first be assembled to their full length. PUD crews make short work of assembling them and laying them out in order for the job. The assembled poles are then delivered to the locations on the job site where they will be installed. Here we see two 60 foot tall poles which together will form the new H structure replacing the old one. Every single piece of equipment necessary to build 27 new power pole structures must first be picked from PUD shell stock by warehouse employees and then counted and organized for the job. With hundreds of different items and thousands of pieces in total, there's a lot of material to gather. All of that material is then transported to a location near the job site, also staged and ready for construction. All of the new pole holes are dug by vacuum suction. A huge vacuum truck is brought in to dig the holes for the new poles based on a carefully surveyed new position. The first structure to be replaced is this H structure which is holding up City of Port Angeles lines in addition to PUD lines which span over 750 feet across the Tumwater Canyon. All of the many pieces of equipment necessary to build this one structure is carefully laid out and organized on the ground, forming an impressive array of parts and pieces. At 85 foot tall, this pole was too large to transport fully assembled. Nearby to where it will be installed, crews take the modules apart and separate them on the ground, three pieces in total to create this pole. The bottom portion of the pole is then brought to its final location, lifted into the air, and carefully lowered into the ground. Once in the ground, crews verify that it is straight and true in the air. The middle section is then brought on site. It too is then lifted high into the air safely maneuvering these large and heavy pole pieces right next to an energized 69 kV line is a testament to the skill of the crews. The middle section is then carefully lowered onto the bottom piece. The third and final piece is brought on site. The only way to install this top piece is to lift it high above an energized 69 kV line and carefully maneuver it into position and then lower it down onto the pole below. The second 60 foot pole making this H structure is then brought onto the site. Weighing 3,500 pounds, skilled crews make a tough task look easy. Fully constructed, these new structures are impressive sentinels, standing tall above the highway below, reliably delivering electric power to Clallam PUD customers for many years into the future.